Shabadurka. So that festival is going on Saturday, Sunday, yeah. and Kasha, we have seen a trend of beautiful weather. Is it going to continue? It looks like it may, though. I'll show you. We've got a little bit more cloud cover pushing in Friday, and it may stick with us. But um, at this point, it looks like it's going to be a sun cloud mix, so it should be okay. Uh, at this point, we're seeing a little bit more cloud cover. Look at that. So grouse. You can see it's a little bit more clear up there, but a fair amount of nice cloud deck covering the North Shore Mountains at this point at 16 degrees. A mix of sun and cloud being reported out of YVR. You'll also note the shakiness of the cam. 30 K winds coming in from the northwest, from the north, uh, sorry, from the west northwest, and then gusts of 43 K. So you'll feel those winds, especially gusty through the morning, but that's actually going to help to clear us out. So here we are at this point. There's that cloud deck, and then that really quickly recedes. This is this morning, 9 30, 10 a.m. It starts to really push further south and east. Still, the Fraser Valley and inland sections could still get a little bit more cloud cover. In the north, so the north and the central coast, we are looking at unsettled conditions through this morning and especially overnight. And here's that cloud cover. Tomorrow evening, another system will be impacting us, but it probably will not be bringing us any rain. Still looking at a sun cloud mix, but a little more cloud cover for your Friday. Precipitation wise, not a whole lot. We are looking at a uh, fair amount for the north coast. This is over the next 48 or sorry, the next 24 hours. Port Hardy, three millimeters. Bella Coola, nine, a little bit more for the north coast. But across the southern half of the province, over the next several days, we're looking at sunny conditions and it continues to be hot across the Okanagan, across the southeast of the province as well. But there is a chance of non-severe thunderstorms in the southeast of the province this afternoon. A heads up. But for Metro Vancouver, here's your long range. Another hot one in store today. It'll be 29 for inland sections today under sunny skies. I think you'll like that, uh, Caitlin. I know she likes her summer weather. What's going on traffic-wise? Yes, I do enjoy the summer weather. Thanks very much. Uh, Kasha, well, traffic wise, not bad. In fact, uh, even 192nd Street isn't too bad. So uh, if you're about to uh, leave or you've got a couple of hours before you head out on the road and you're wondering uh, what the condition is along Highway 1 after that uh, truck uh, earlier yesterday hit it. So Highway 1 is open to traffic in both directions. You have all lanes open westbound, so no issues there. Even 192nd Street is open to traffic each way as well. It's just the exit from eastbound onto 192nd that is blocked. So Drive BC says an update about noon so it looks like that's going to remain the case we'll take it because it's nice to have all lanes open on the highway and even now 192nd street so certainly looking better than it was yesterday fraser highway keep in mind there is this ongoing road work to the sky train project so it is blocked to traffic between 140th and 148th wrapping up fingers crossed by the end of september that's your okay tire traffic all right thanks so much caitlin well coming up